Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you guys saw from the thumbnail, we are going to be creating a really pretty white and like clear gems set. So we're getting right into the video. I am starting off with some extreme square nail tips and I like to cut them all down so that they're all the same length. Um, as far as like, I wanna make them all the same length as the pinky. They're still like extra long length, but I just trim them a little bit and I add some base coat gel. You can do one to two coats depending on how uh, long the nails are if you wanna add some extra thickness. Um, I'm grabbing this color from Rarjism on Amazon. This is one of my favorite nudes. If you guys saw my last video, it's actually um, like a little haul video. I purchased um, some extra of this gel because I love, love using this one. Um, and it will be in the description box if you guys were interested. And yeah, I'm going to be doing this color on a few of the fingers. Um, something about the inspo I was looking at is that uh, both hands were slightly different. And um, yeah, so I will be inserting the inspo here uh, right after I'm done with the nude part just so that you guys can see. Um, so that you guys can see like what I'm making. But I'm going to be doing one to two coats of this gel. I believe I do two coats. And um, yeah, so we're just going to do that right now. So right here is the inspo that my customer sent me of uh, that nude color that I chose is absolutely perfect. It looks identical to this one in person. Um, so yeah, this is the set we're going to be creating. The only thing is she did not want a 3D flower. And for the pinky gems, I told her I was going to make it as similar as I could. Um, but yeah, so basically, of course, it's not going to be like identical 100,000% just because I don't have those exact charms. Um, so I did let, let them know and you know, she just told me it was okay. So, uh, for the milky white color, I'm going to be using this color from Amazon as well. This is my favorite milky white. It does not leave a yellow cast or a blue cast. Um, I've had that experience with a lot of milky white gels from Amazon and I finally found my favorite one. Of course, this one will be in the description for you guys as well. I'm using my shimmer top coat from Enel Couture on, uh, two of the nail or two of the nails, one from each set, uh, from each hand, just because this set or this specific nail is going to have some pixie crystals on it i like using a shimmery base underneath just because i feel like it adds something extra but you could totally just leave it clear or add a, a different color glittery base um but yeah for the milky white nail we are going to be doing two coats for sure just because it's a little more sheer and um i'm just making sure to get it as even as possible you guys i hate when i get lint on the nail i'll literally just try to wipe it off as best as i can or like get it out because it's so annoying um but yeah so we're doing two coats of that right there And we are going to have two French tip nails. So right here, I'm going to be doing the ring finger of French tip and I am just freehanding it, um, painting it as, as like even as I can. Um, this comes with lots of practice, so please don't compare yourself to mine. But um, I'm using my favorite white gel polish from Amazon as well. And then I am also going to be doing a, um, a French tip on the thumb as well. I think both hands had it on the thumb. And... Um, yeah, it's just going to be plain white, but it's actually going to have like um, the glitter on top. So I'm doing the plain white first and then I'm going to put the sugar glitter on top. And for the glitter part, um, the one that I'm using is actually one of my favorites from Amazon as well. Like you guys, literally I get everything from Amazon because I love like the convenience of being able to get things really fast if I run out. But I actually, um, in the most recent video before this one, in my little haul video, I actually showed you guys some glitters that are like a dupe for this one because this one's really expensive. At least I think it's like ridiculously expensive for glitter, you know what I mean? Because glitters shouldn't be that much. Um, so I did find some dupes if you guys want to check out that video or even just check out the description because I did link them there. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going ahead and pouring the glitter all on there. I like to pour it, then wait a few seconds, then pour some more so that the glitter seeps in, you know what I mean? And it's not just sitting 
anything on the surface um so i wait a few seconds so that i get it really saturated with the glitter um but yeah i'm doing that and then i'm doing it again on the thumb and i like to just put a piece of like regular printer paper down first so that i can catch any extra glitter and save it and like put it back into the container because like i mentioned this glitter is a little pricey so i like to save it as much as i can but i did recently run out so i had to get a new one um or a new type of glitter but um yeah so we're just doing the french tip on the thumb as well When I do sugar glitter nail French tips, I always make sure to top coat the nude part underneath. Um, you could do top coat first on the whole entire nail. I just feel like that's kind of a waste of top coat just because you don't need it. You know what I mean? You're going to have to use the color to put the sugar glitter on top of anyways. So I just like top coating the little nude part right here as I'm doing like this. Um, just because it works very well for me. I've worn this on my own nails and it lasted super well. So um, just only top coating the nude part works very well. I just like doing this. And it avoids having to add so many extra layers to the nail. One, to cause... Uh, or to avoid shrinking and then two um it will help so that your sh the shape of your nail isn't so lumpy on the sides just because you're gonna have to add so many extra coats you know what i mean um instead of doing it on the whole entire nail just to go ahead and do it on the nude part um so yeah i'm just doing that right here and i'm using my beetles glossy gel top coat and is the no wipe and for the pixie crystals, I always like to use a gel glue that cures in the lamp. I'm using the McCart one here. Um, I actually cut a little bit of the tip off. If you guys have this gel, you guys know it's kind of difficult to get it out and squeeze it. Um, it comes out extremely slow. And I was like, no, I need it to come out a little faster just because to cover these long nails, it takes a, like a little bit more time. And um, you guys, I have like the worst patience ever. So I just went ahead and um, just like cut a little bit of the edge. And now the glue comes out super easily, which is really amazing. So in case you guys were having that trouble, uh, same trouble as me, just, you know, try that out. It might work for you. So um, I'm applying it on the whole nail. And then I'm going ahead and applying the rhinestones underneath. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but on the inspo pic, it had pixies. But then it, like in the middle, it did have some regular stones. So I'm just taking some clear stones. These are all glass crystals. And I'm I'm just going ahead and placing them here randomly and like I mentioned the rhinestones were going to be similar to the ones in the photo I couldn't make them exact just because I didn't have the same exact ones um but it, it still turned out super super pretty nonetheless I'm adding a few AB in here as well just different sized little crystals because they are going to show through the pixies a little bit and it's going to look super pretty um, when your glue starts running off to the side I like to just take my brush and literally just wipe it um like wipe the excess off just because um it'll just you know make sure that your glue isn't running over to the side um and then i go ahead with the pixie crystals i like to put a little lid underneath um so that i can catch them so they don't just like fly all over the table and i know there's like a little i think there's like a little like 
pixie holder glitter thing that i can get on on amazon or aliexpress i've seen it before and it even comes with a little scooper and everything i do want to get one of those but for now this works for me so i'm just going ahead and pouring the pixies on and these pixies are really nice i think i use the one millimeter pixies they're super tiny so they work way better for nails like this um if you use bigger sized pixies they'll stick up more on the nail you know what i mean and these pixies are super tiny which works really really great so um yeah i'm just going ahead and fixing the edges before i cure i always make sure to shape it to the same shape as the nail so that the pixies aren't making the nail look thicker or chunkier you know what i mean because i don't want the sides to be like misshaped so i always take my little brush or my wax pencil and i just go ahead and fix the edges And now for any rhinestones or charms where I'm not going to be using pixies, I just go in with my Zule nail glue. This is the best uh, rhinestone glue that I have found that works really, really well. None of the stones ever fall off with this one. I used this on my nails when I went to Disneyland. I was literally getting up early, using my hands like really like for everything, getting stuff in and out of my backpack all day and everything like that, getting on rides and nothing ever, none of my gems ever fell off or anything. It worked super, super well. So yes, I love this glue. I can definitely vibe for it but um in case you guys are new here or if you guys are beginners it is very strong so make sure you wear a mask while you're using it and also um another thing i wanted to say is if it gets hot the glue will like dry up i think something like that i think making sure it's in a cool area will just uh have a it'll have a better consistency um I've been using this glue for like years and years. I've never kept it in the fridge, but if it becomes, becomes like really hot, I do recommend you you should do that. Um, what I'll do though is I'll just put it like in a cooler part of my house and just leave it there. And then when I need it, I'll just grab it. Um, and yeah, something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, the glue dries really fast. So I had to work really quickly because it dries fast. And another thing, uh, once when it's really, really uh, cold, like it was cold this day, I had to uh, hurt like kind of like manipulate the glue a little bit as you can see here it was giving me a lot of trouble with this gem i think the gem ends up falling off and i have to end up like getting a new one or like putting another one on uh i'm not quite sure i don't remember but um yeah the glue is like making the like rhinestone slide off and i have to use a lot of glue for these big gems to stay on like you know because they're so big so i uh because i used like so much glue it wasn't drying as fast as it normally does and the gem was like sliding off so 
uh, I had to like hold the nail a certain way, make sure it wasn't falling. As you can see, I have to keep fixing it because it keeps sliding all over. And another thing is uh, when there's big gems like this, you can see here, I am putting glue all around because I don't want any parts to be exposed where it can snag or hair can get stuck in there, like your hair or, uh, you know, the rhinestone can snag on something and fall off. So I always make sure to go in on the edges like this and just make sure that I'm getting all the areas, like all the areas covered in the glue. And this literally makes sure your gems stay on forever. So if you guys are having trouble with your gems staying, definitely try this method out. And I do recommend using the nail glue sprayer, uh, nail glue dryer spray. I get it on, on Amazon um, and it works really good. You just spray it on the nails like eight inches away. I think eight to 10 inches away from the nails. Don't spray it like super close up and it'll make sure your glue dries like on contact like right away so that your gems aren't sliding around if the glue isn't drying faster than it normally does, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, uh, for the middle finger, I'm also doing gems. I'm just using some pear shapes and different sized rhinestones, trying to make a pretty bling placement just because the original photo did have a lot of gems. So I'm just trying my best. And on the pointer finger there, I did use a little pretty charm uh, like rhinestones or con charm and then I'm just using other rhinestones. I'm gonna put a flag
So now right here, I'm pretty much just finishing up my bling placement on the other hand, adding the stones and everything I need to. This was actually the hand that was giving me a lot of trouble and this stone actually ended up falling off and I had to keep trying to place it back on the nail without getting like glue everywhere. It was so frustrating, you guys. So something else I wanted, I noticed was that this nail was going to just be plain nude because she didn't want the flower. So it looked kind of empty. Um, so I decided to add a little bit of uh, this shimmer glitter on it. And I really hope she didn't mind. But I think I ended up really pulling it together just so that it doesn't look so out of place. Um, I just felt like just one plain nude nail. Not plain. I had the rhinestones, but like, you know what I mean? Like, it just was like kind of sticking out a little bit. Like... I don't know how to explain it just to me it felt like it was so like this this is what it ended up looking like it looks super super pretty and um this is my finished video i actually haven't even posted this set on my instagram yet i have to get on that i'll probably post it when this video goes up but yeah this is what it turned out like absolutely stunning i really loved it and i do file my nails at the end of every set i just don't include it in every video just because i feel like it's kind of like boring or self-explanatory um uh, because it's, i just do it super quick but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!